Welcome to Yellow Brick Road. I'm Jordan, and today I'm going to talk about Nancy Pelosi blocking <laughs> blocking a UBI, an emergency UBI. But first, please consider donating to Devin's Journey to Recovery. The GoFundMe link is in the description box. If you got five bucks or more laying around, you want to donate to a charity, you can. It helps out one of our subscribers and his wife, help them with medical bills. You can donate to Devin's Journey to Recovery. GoFundMe link in the description box. All right, as you can see, the headline from, if I can move this down, there we go, Common Dreams. Refusal by Pelosi to consider universal cash payments in response to coronavirus pandemic. Maddening, says progressives. That's right, progressives. Uh, So it says progressives erupted with frustration and anger Wednesday over days of reporting that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi would would not consider cash payments for Americans without means testing, despite the ongoing coronavirus outbreak that has that has ground the U.S. economy almost to a standstill. President Donald Trump and his fellow Republicans have taken the opportunity to outflank Pelosi and House Democrats on the payments leading to anger from the left. Uh, In quotes, it says, I truly don't know how to describe how maddening it is that Republicans and Trump officials are to the left of congressional Dem leadership on this issue, tweeted activist Jordan Ull? Ull? Uh Ull. Uh Uh Ull. Uh Ull. At least he has the name Jordan. That's that's saving him right now. All right. So this is pretty interesting because I just made a video about T.Y. or Cenk Uger in particular. Sort of like we need, like it's essentially saying we need to defeat the Republicans. And, you know, bringing in Elizabeth Warren as vice president will unite the party so that they can defeat Donald Trump. But then you see this. A policy that's supposed to be their thing, Trump is doing, and they're going out of their ways to block it. Now, let me see when this freaking thing was written. Yeah, today, on the 18th. So, are you are, are the people that are still holding on to the left-right paradigm? Are you are you ready to let go? Are you ready to drop the handrails? Take the training wheels off and start walking on your own. You'd be like, fuck the names. Fuck the party they claim. What are you doing as an individual? And then keep them or throw them away based on that. We've been doing that, but it's always been the two choices of lesser of lesser evil. Which one's the lesser evil? I'll vote for that over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. It'll change. We can change them. (laughs) So. uh, I wish I had more to say, but this is just on its face. Like, what the fuck? And that was like Andrew Yang's thing, was it not? And who did he endorse Biden? What the hell? (laughs) I know there were de- there were some Democrats that are put that were pushing for a UBI. I saw Ilhan Omar. I saw Tulsi Gabbard. I think uh, Tulsi put out something, and Ilhan Omar said, "I saw her, her tweet because people were asking her why why haven't you uh, co-sponsored Tulsi's super bill?" <laughs> and she was like, "I did." There's just a delay in the record saying that I did. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> eh, you know, fans go ape shit a lot. But, uh, yeah, there were people on the left that were doing this thing. And yet, somehow, the person that's the leader of them, it's like they have different agendas or something. At least on paper. And people are going to tell you to vote blue no matter who. Because you can change them someday. You might have had more domestic leeway with Trump than you did with, and you would with uh, a Biden or someone, domestically. Foreign policy, the fucking army just, that shit keeps going. But you can scare Trump domestically. 
right? Where he said, oh, it's no problem. The, the virus is no problem. Or, uh, you know, we have wonderful testing. But there's like no testing la- there yet. <laughs> and it's like, oh, hey, dude, you fucked up on this. We can expose this. All right, all right. Uh, we're going to do a, a universal basic income because of this. We're going to do an emergency one for this situation here. Also, uh, no one's going to be allowed to be evicted. Or we're gonna we're gonna uh, freeze uh, mortgage, you know, paying your mortgage. We're gonna freeze that. It's like ah, okay. Look at that, scared a mother freaker. But uh, yeah. If if that's the if that's the thing, if we have one corrupt party behaving a certain way, it's like oh well, our job as a different party is to just do the opposite. And it's like, what? <laughs> we must oppose Trump. For some reason, like, that's why in my last video, I'm like, oh, Jank, you behave like a Democratic operative. <laughs> I can't say you are, but you fucking, you behave like one for sure. And this is the type of shit I'm talking about. You know, when you see actions like this, like something that's supposed to align with your own party. You go against it because the uh, because the Republicans want it. <laughs> it's like whoa. <laughs> and then I get mocked for saying we need a, a system strictly based on voting for ideas. It's like, <laughs> How are you gonna do that? <laughs> Pie in the sky. Anyways, that's it for me. Please subscribe if you like. Comment, agree, disagree. Tell me what you think. Is, uh, is Nancy right or is she wrong? Do we need more means testing to make sure that the rich guys don't get money too? <laughs> uh, I, I think that's the only argument that keeps their fucking mouth shut. Or it's like, no, no, man, it's universal. You get it too. It's not stealing from you. It's yours too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, don't forget to donate Devin's Journey to Recovery. Go find me link in the description box. And with all that said, give this video a thumbs down. Say you want to get him.